Yo, what's up guys? It's Justin here from JSW Motor Vlog. Uh, I finally just got myself a mic, so that's cool. Hopefully you can hear me pretty well and, and hopefully like, uh, you know, the wind noise doesn't like... Hopefully the wind noise isn't louder than my actual voice, because that would be really annoying. But you know, I'm just testing the mic out and obviously there's, obviously there's going to be some flaws, but um, I'll try and sort them out. So yeah, anyway, this is my Honda. Hornet CB600S, pretty cool bike, you know, I got given it by my granddad, uh, I passed my test like when I was like 17, and um, I was riding a Yamaha DT125 for years, and um, like he, gave me, he had this bike in the garage, and uh, luckily, I was really lucky he gave it to me to ride, I think it's mine now, well I hope it's mine, because it's actually a pretty decent bike, despite that, I didn't think it actually looked that nice, but uh, yeah, it's, it's an all round good bike, Pretty quick, pretty nippy, and uh, yeah, I, I've grown to like it, so I suppose that's good. But I am going to be looking at getting probably uh, a Honda CBR 600 RR, maybe. We'll see, we'll see what happens. As you can tell by my voice, I'm from Norfolk. Hey, hey tractor boy. See, so yeah, anyway, I've only, I'm, I'm pretty new to motor vlogging. I've been watching a lot of motor vloggers on YouTube, like uh, you know, Stand the Motor Man, Salt the Wound, uh, Do It With Dan, Well Terrific. So, you know, just get some ideas. See, so, yeah, I had to buy myself a new uh, GoPro case for my mic, like uh, with the uh, side side attachment out of it, so I could stick my mic in the side. So uh, I brought a cheap one, so I'm hoping it holds out and it doesn't fall off while I'm riding, but I'm sure I'll be okay. Here comes a fellow biker. How you doing? So yeah, I've had a long, long week at work. So good to finally get on my bike. I don't really get to go out on my bike that much, probably once a week. I used to go out on it three or four times a week, but I got a new job and I work nights as well. So, um, yeah, you know, it's quite hard. It's quite hard to get out on the bike now and then, but um, I finally got out on it today, which is all good. I'll go out for a little ride, maybe an hour or two, test this mic out, get some shots, get some new footage for, the, for YouTube and yeah, we'll see how we'll see how it goes. Depending on the weather, it might rain, might spoil my day, which is typical because it's been such a such nice weather when I've been at work. And then as soon as you have a day off, it, it just you know, it looks like it's gonna rain. And I never rarely I rarely come through town, but it seems I've got the mic on. I don't know what it's gonna be like when I start getting up to speed. If you know the wind noise will go like above the mic, the mic's level. Uh, so, um, I'll go around town first. And pop it into neutral, boy. So, yeah, I'm probably going to do a, um, a short review on uh, this Honda Hornet sooner or later. Literally, every time I come out now, whenever I get the chance to ride, I'm, all, I'm always filming. So, I never know when I'm going to get the chance again. I try and upload regularly, you know, like once a week. Come on, green, 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 Woo! I get caught every damn red light, it's like they know I'm coming. Bastards. So yeah, anyway, like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm a really big bike fan, I'm not just like, um, you know, I love my racing, my British Superbikes, World Superbikes, MotoGP. I'm a die-hard Rossi fan. Yeah, you know, I've been brought up around, you know, racing and motor bikes my whole life. And you know, I've been going to the Motor GP ever since I can remember. It's like years and years ago. Like I used to go watch Carl Foggy. I can remember watching him when I was like right young. And then all I can remember then from from then on is just watching Rossi every year, every year, every year. Uh, well, I went to Mugello this year and it was just like absolutely crazy. You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe how like people said the atmosphere before before I went people said the atmosphere was gonna be like absolutely crazy, like nothing you've ever seen. And we used to go to Silverstone to watch uh, the Mer GP in England and um, it's quite mild the atmosphere. But literally when I went to Italy it, it was absolutely crazy. 
honestly there there's there were people everywhere there there's like he was literally shoulder to shoulder elbow to elbow all the way around the track and there's people on motorbikes like coming through the crowd all day and like at night like people are having like parties and it was just mental the italians are mental but uh it, it was brilliant it was like one of the best weekends of my life and i'm definitely gonna go next year it was absolutely crazy even though it was like i got charged like eight euro for a beer over there i think it's because they knew i was english they were just mugging me off i've only ever had two bikes so my first bike like i said earlier was a yamaha dt125 and that used to range between like 16 70 mile an hour and then i had like a bit of a gap i had like a year gap like of, of not riding because i got a car and i was working pretty hard at work and um and then my granddad gave, like I said, give me this 600 and I jumped from a 125 to a 600 and for me that was a big step of not like not having that riding experience for like a year and then jumping straight onto this 600 but I'm so glad I did, it's absolutely awesome so much quicker, obviously it's going to be so much quicker but it handles so much better this is what I mean, like in Norfolk there's tractors everywhere no matter what road you go, like, even sometimes they're even like the dual carriageways and the highways they are everywhere, they flick that up at your bike and I've already just cleaned this bloody thing as well. Oh no, another one, two tractors. I might go around it, we'll just wait for the right minute. The right time, is anything coming the other way? No. My old man was gonna come out riding with me today. But he's on call at work. So he kind of passed it up, and I wish he did come out. Then you can see his—he's uh, he's got a Honda VTR in uh, the Castrol colours. It's like absolutely like ah. Oh. I don't think I dare ride it yet. Cause it's, it looks so much of a, it. Looks just, just looks like an absolute beast. Absolute beast. That's what it looks like. It just looks like it literally tear me apart, limb from limb. It's got like twin Acropovic exhausts on it, and it just looks like a f***ing killing machine. I think he's even scared of it sometimes. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, I knew he was going to pull out. Wow! You f***ing nonce. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed... Uh, la, 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 la. Yeah, so I hope you guys um, enjoyed my first vlog with a microphone. Hopefully it all went well. We'll soon see. So I'm like talking now, but I haven't even seen the footage yet. But I'm still going to stick this in the video. I'm hoping everything went well. I hope the wind noise wasn't too bad. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And stay tuned for my next one.